Another day, another mind-blowing discovery by the James Webb Space Telescope. This time he has glimpsed possible first dark stars. What are dark stars and why is this discovery so big? Stars cast a radiant glow into the vast space through the fusion process, where atoms fuse together and release energy. However, there is a tantalizing possibility that there might be an alternative way to power up a star. Intriguing ideas have emerged from a collaborative effort involving three astrophysicists from the University of Texas at Austin and Colgate University. Their research delved into images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope, leading to the identification of three luminous objects that could potentially be dark stars. Considerably larger and brighter than our sun, these theoretical entities derive their energy from the annihilation of dark matter particles. If this finding is corroborated, dark stars could unlock the secrets surrounding dark matter, a deep enigma in the realm of physics. The discovery of a new type of star in itself is captivating, but the prospect of it being powered by dark matter adds a significant layer of intrigue. Catherine Fries, renowned physicist and director of the Weinberg Institute for Theoretical Physics, expressed the immense implications of such a revelation. She commented, to find something so dark fueling this would be huge. Dark matter, which comprises about 25% of the universe, remains an elusive mystery for scientists. It is believed to consist of a new form of elementary particle prompting an intensive search to detect these elusive constituents. One of the main contenders is the weakly interacting massive particle. When these particles collide, they self-annihilate, generating heat that fuels the collapse of the hydrogen clouds, transforming them into bright dark stars. If supermassive dark stars can be unequivocally identified, they have the potential to provide valuable information about the nature of dark matter, based on their observed characteristics. Dark star exploration not only holds the promise of revealing a new celestial phenomenon, but also offers a unique avenue to understand the elusive properties of dark matter. As scientists continue their quest to understand the fundamental workings of the universe, the remarkable discovery of dark stars may light the way toward unraveling the mysteries that lie within the enigmatic realm of dark matter. Meanwhile, the James Webb Space Telescope continues to challenge our cosmology. The first data released by the Cosmos Survey presents a region known as the Extended Growth Strip and sends viewers back to a time shortly after the Big Bang. In this video, you can see more than 5,000 galaxies in magnificent colors and three dimensions. The cosmic journey begins with relatively nearby galaxies located within a few billion light years of Earth and concludes in the Macy's Galaxy, which at 13.4 billion light years from Earth is one of the most distant ever observed by the Earth. Humanity and it looks like it was about 390 million years after the Big Bang. As such, this new video from the Webb Telescope not only represents a journey through space, but also a journey through time. Rewinding cosmic evolution back to a period when the universe was 13.8 billion years below a third of his present age. The video is the result of data collected by the scientific journal Cosmos and explores a region of space called the Extended Growth Strip, which lies between the constellations Ursa Major and Cancer, and contains around 100,000 galaxies. Of particular interest to astronomers in this visualization is Maisie's Galaxy, which serves as an example of the type of early galaxy that the JWST is capable of studying. Also, astronomers using the telescope have seen a chain of ancient galaxies stretching over 3 million light years, connected by a cosmic filament dating back to the earliest days of the universe. This ancient filament of gas and stars may represent the oldest known structure in the cosmic web. This discovery may shed light on how the universe formed and also on the invisible strings that hold it together. 
It is anchored by an extremely bright celestial object with a supermassive black hole known as a quasar at its center. Over the past 20 years, research has discovered that the universe is built on a kind of scaffolding, a series of filaments and clumps invisible to the naked eye. In these clusters, dark matter and regular matter become very dense, creating the perfect conditions for the birth of stars and galaxies. Between these clumps and filaments are very low-density regions of the universe, where there are very few galaxies and less matters. While the filament itself is invisible, it is possible to see how it pulls galaxies together. Meanwhile, a quasar, a luminous supermassive black hole, is believed to anchor the filament. The team believes that eventually the galaxies will coalesce into a cluster much like the nearby Coma Group galaxy. The team also hopes the discovery will shed more light on the cosmic web, but is also very interested in how the first quasars formed in the infancy of the universe. Speaking of quasars, astronomers using the James Webb Space Telescope have detected the most distant supermassive black hole ever observed, actively feeding. The black hole also happens to be one of the least massive in the early universe, measuring the equivalent of about 9 million suns, which is proving difficult to explain. The researchers observed the host galaxy of this active supermassive black hole as part of early cosmic evolution. The popular science survey shows the object designated Sears Galaxy 1019 as it was when the 13.8 billion year old universe was about 570 million years old. This is because the processes by which supermassive black holes grow, whether through mergers between ever larger black hole companies or by greedily feasting on surrounding matter, should take longer than 570 million years that this black hole had to work with. This means that even black holes on a scale similar to those at the heart of the Milky Way, which is around 4.5 million times the mass of the Sun, should only be seen in the relatively nearby and therefore most recent universe. The black hole at the heart of Sears 1019 is about 9 million solar masses. This may sound tremendously massive, but many supermassive black holes can grow to be billions of times the mass of our star. However, even in this relatively tiny dimension, the existence of such massive black holes in the early universe remains a puzzle for scientists. Looking at this distant object with this telescope is much like looking at data on black holes that exist in galaxies close to our own. Study co-author Rebecca Larson said in the statement that scientists have long suspected that such supermassive black holes existed in the early universe. But it's only since JWST opened its infrared eye to the cosmos in mid-2022 that proof final has emerged. The light emissions reveal that the Sears 1019 black hole is actively feeding on surrounding matter. Powering black holes like this one are surrounded by swirling infalling gas and dust, known as accretion disks. Not only does the gravitational force influence the black hole, heating up this matter and causing the disk to glow brightly, but also powerful magnetic fields funnel the matter to the black hole's poles, where it is occasionally ejected in twin jets moving at near speed of light, generating an intensely bright light. Taking a closer look at the black hole, its intense radiation could reveal how rapidly its host galaxy is growing and possibly shed insights into its mysterious past. A galaxy merger could be partly responsible for driving activity in this galaxy's black hole and could also lead to more star formation. Whatever scientists are looking at, the data and analyzing it with precision. These data revealed by Webb have drastically changed the way we look at the early universe. Galaxies forming only about 390 million years after the Big Bang is, in itself, a challenge to our model of cosmology. Of course, we can adjust the model based on the revelations made by the telescope, but there is much more that has yet to be unearthed from a plethora of information collected by Webb from the early universe. Whatever the universe is hiding from us, 
It's only a matter of time before we have the answers, or rather know the places where we might find them. As I said at the beginning, it's a win-win for science, it's a win-win for humanity. What do you guys have to say? Together we will explore outer space.